What's poppin', yo? It's your boy, Dumb P. Bringing you an update on my uh, weight loss and give you a little bit of a background, man. That uh, <clears throat> music you hear from uh, in the background, that's my uh, my boy, Crisis. He's the dude in, in red on the, um, on the picture there. Mr. Crisis, go check him out at .piff.com. He's nice with him, man. Go check him out. Anyhow, um, back in January, man, I decided that uh, <clears throat> I wanted to lose some weight. And I started a diet, something like similar to the Atkin diet. And uh, I started the diet, started exercising. Uh, and um, my boy, uh, J-Mo, and um, also... Delta Elite, they also wanted to lose some weight, you know, get back in shape. So I decided to join them in the race to see uh, who, you know, get in, in shape um, faster and, you know, kind of make it kind of a little bit competitive to motivate each other or whatnot. And um, so as we started, I started in January and around the same time, uh, the 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 JMO and Delta started. At least I know Delta started. JMO started like two two months later, on, on the whole weight loss type of thing, and and getting back in shape, man. You know, JMO posted a picture in um, in uh, Twitter, I believe it was, man. Went back, back, you know, back in the day, you know, boy was, you know, he was huge, man. Like he was really in shape. He was cut everywhere, man. So. He wanted to get back at, at that, you know, when back in that way. He was in that picture, you know. Your boy, you just start, you're trying to, you know, lose weight, you know, get back to like 170, you know, around that range, 170, 165. So I, I had a, a, a long way to go, and you know, about 100 pounds. So I started dieting and exercising, and did a little bit of research here and there, see what what worked best. And I, at the beginning of it, I lost like about 10 pounds, but then I got stuck. I won't lose no more weight. So I got kind of discouraged, so I started doing it. You know, I, I, I didn't fall right, you know, outside, you know, like completely off the wagon. I, you know, but I didn't just didn't lose no any more weight. And I, I had a timetable where I wanted to do this. I wanted to be able to lose their weight by my birthday which was in june so i had about six seven months to do it and uh right around uh my you know by my birthday came and went and i i didn't lose any more weight from the time that i started but i lost like 10 pounds and that's it so I was stuck at like one, like 267 around that 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 weight range, and uh, in June, in January, I mean in June, my birthday came, went by, and then in July, I said, you know what, I gotta try something else. This, you know, this diet thing is not working for me. I gotta do something else. So I started doing um, fasting, you know, and what they call if so i started doing the if thing you know and um and it worked and it's working fine i've been doing it for about four weeks now and i lost about i lost about 15 pounds you know in four weeks so it's it's it, you know today was my my first day of exercising during my fasted period and uh what i'm doing is that i'm i got an eating window you feel me i got an eating window where i eat from um from two o'clock in the afternoon to about six four hours i got a four hour eating window uh on on uh, two o'clock i break my fast with a with a super, super, what they call a super food shake, which is really like a, um, is, is, is vegetable. It's like a veggie, a veggie juice type of thing that I'm, that I mix together. 
And then at six o'clock, I have my official meal, you know, and I, I'm eating just regular food, you know, say so I, I eat smaller portions, but I eat regular food, you know, I have like chicken and veggies and potatoes and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll have rice, but I don't eat big portions. I have a smaller portion, you know, like a smaller portion of, of, of food Mo and, and, and and uh, my plate is mostly vegetables, if anything else, very little bit of the carbs, which is rice or whatever, potatoes. And it's mostly, it's about, say about 75% veggies and 25% um, uh, meat or protein and then, um, the other five percent is carbs, something like that. That's what my plate look, looks like uh, every every day. Now I do this from Monday to Friday. Then on the weekends, I have a larger eating window, which is about eight hours. And uh, on the weekends, I'll have regular breakfast, or, or um, you know, like I'll have breakfast, I have eggs and stuff like that. And and that's that's what I'm doing, man. And uh, today. I did it for like four weeks. I'm entering my fifth week on doing this, and today I started exercising. And uh, what I'm do and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, do uh, high intensity uh, uh, stationary bike workout. I'm gonna do this on, mo on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and that's the plan going forward. Um, and see how I, I do the exercises during the fastest state, and um, and that's what I do right now. You know what I'm saying? As far as fasting goes, uh, at the beginning, it, it was uh, it was it, it wasn't that hard for me because I fasted before, you know, and and so I'm used to not eating for a long period of time. My problem was uh, to tell. I like to uh, grace a lot. You know what I'm saying? When I mean grace a lot, I like to uh, always popping up the uh, all the time popping up the uh, you know opening up the fridge and and picking things like pieces of cheese here or or uh, deli meat there. You know, snacking a lot, and uh, that was my problem. You know, so. Now I, I, I kind of, I, you know, I stopped that completely. And that would be, that, 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 the grazing part is the toughest part for me. But since I do most of my fast fasting time, most, most of my fasting goes, uh, con, uh, happens and uh, when I'm sleeping, it's not that difficult, you know. And now in the mornings, I'm gonna start exercising so that will keep my mind away from, you know, grazing and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really past that right now. You know, I, I don't really have that urge to go pick stuff up off the fridge, you know, and, 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 and grace like that. So, but, but that was the toughest part, man. That and the, the water drinking. You gotta, you know, you gotta drink a little bit more water than you used to. But you know, I got my water right here. So, uh, other than that, man, it's not that difficult because I, I eat what I usually eat anyway. I just, the plate looks a little bit different. The same, it's the same stuff that I usually eat, but the portions of each item is a little bit pr proportioned in, in a different way, where I will have more vegetables, than anything else that's just about it man i mean it's not that bad because i get to continue to eat what i usually eat like i'll have pizza you know what i'm saying i'll have a burger you know usually i have those things over the weekend and and, and during the week I, i'm I, I i eat you know i eat regular like home cooked meals and stuff like that. I won't have pizza or anything like that. Um, so on the weekends, I, I'll eat, like I, if I wanna have a burger, I have a burger. If I wanna have pizza, I'll have pizza. 
while half cake and stuff like that. But on the weekday from Monday to Friday, is I'm more strict to what I eat. I won't have no cake or I will not have a pizza or burgers or anything like that. Unless I make the burgers myself. That's different. So that's about it, man. That's what I'm doing. And uh, when I started doing this in, in, in July, I, I, uh, I lost, I was at 264, something like that, 267. Now, I'm a, last time I weighed myself, I was at two, uh, I started at 267 in July. And today, or last night, I weighed myself in Grand Shoe. This was, um, when I wasn't really fasting, so I expect to wait less tomorrow. But I'm way, I'm way at 252. So I'm not gaining weight in the weekends. I don't gain weight. Like my, like when Friday I waited 252. I've been 252 the whole weekend, even though I'm not as strict with my diet and I'm fasting for a shorter period of time. So. I stay fasted from Monday to Friday. I stay fasted for about 20 hours. And then, you know, like I say, I, uh, from two to six, I'll have my eating window where I eat and hot coffee. Like I'll have regular coffee, which, you know, stuff like that. I, I'm also um, drinking apple cider vinegar, like two spoons. I mix it with some honey and, and uh, on lemon and water. So I got my little uh, bread. Um, tonic what they call it tonic apple cider tonic or whatever you know and uh and that's about it man i'm 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 i'm, I'm comfortable with it this is something that uh it's a, a life-changing uh thing that i'm doing um uh, with i'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life this is my eating windows uh for the rest of my life this is not something that i'm doing just to lose weight this is what i'm going to do for the rest of my life there's a lot of benefits that come from fasting you can do the research look in youtube there's a lot of people on, v on youtube that does this um uh hugh hugh hackman the the wolverine he does this type of thing where he fast that uh comedian um uh African American actor that does the uh, the spice commercial, the old spice commercial. Uh, Terry uh, forgot his last name. Uh, he does fasting. He does the 16-hour fast, eight-hour window, and a lot of people do this type of thing. Man, it's it's not bad for you. It's actually good for you that you spend at least 16 hours of your day without eating to kind of regulate the insulin and stuff like that. I don't, I don't want to really go into details because like I say, there's a lot of videos on YouTube, research on this. You can check it out. Um, one one point, one point advice I'm gonna give you guys, if you decide to do this, there's a lot of guys out there that do, in, that do the, the fasting, the fast for 16 hours, 18 hours, some of them fast for 24 hours where they only have one hour window where they eat at the same hour every day at the same time. And a lot of these guys that do the 16 and 18 hour fast fasting uh, window, they, they, they want to tell you like, for example, like the, the Hush Twins, the Hush Twins, they, they're famous for it. You know, they got the, probably the, the biggest channel of fasting channel on YouTube. They kind of like almost the pioneers of this. The Hash Twins, they're great YouTubers. They're funny as hell and they're very successful and, and kudos to them. This is no, no hate towards them, but they'll tell you like, you know, like when they do, when they started the fasting on the older videos, like three or four years ago, that the fast, the, the, the fat melted off them and they had to stop because they was, uh, they were, they were, they were losing too much fat, like too quick. I might, let me tell you something, man. Um, that might be the truth for them, but you gotta look at this from this perspective. Uh, these guys, I, when they fasted, when they beginning fasting, 
they were already in shape. So their, their metabolism was already high to begin with. You know what I'm saying? So when they started fasting, of course, you know, the way that the, their body process fat, it increases because when you fast, your metabolism increase. And if you already got a high metabolism to begin with, you can imagine how the the results that you're gonna get from fasting and and the and the way your body is gonna melt fat is gonna be way faster because your metabolism is already there. But if you like me, that you out of shape and you overweight, you know, 180, 100 pounds overweight, <laughs> you're not. Don't expect for the fat to melt out of you. That's just not gonna happen, homie. I'm just being truthful with you. You are gonna lose body fat. It does work, but don't expect to be where you are. Like they making like what they tell you, like oh man, you know you your fat is just melting off. It's disgusting. This and that. No, it doesn't work like that, homie. I, I'm not being honest with you. It doesn't. Not, it does not work like that. If you overweight and your metabolism is slow, you you have to your body have to uh, change drastically. Where through fasting, your metabolism uh, becomes faster, and that takes time. That takes about two weeks. So the first thing you're gonna lose is a lot. You're gonna lose some body weight, some body, some water weight. And you're gonna, um, you're gonna feel, you're gonna get what they call the fast, the fasted, uh, the fat flu, where you feel like you're catching a flu, like you're getting sick. But then that goes away after like a week or two. Then on your third week is when you know you start noticing things like you're gonna start noticing some your face getting smaller, your neck is, is on oh my mic. Your neck start getting like a little bit longer because you're losing fat. You start losing, but um, um, you you it's getting thinner. Your neck gets thinner. Your hands, they get thinner, and your fingers get thinner because, sadly to say, and unfortunately, your body is gonna melt fat where it's easier to to dilute. You know what I'm saying? Like the last place you're gonna lose body fat in is your stomach. That's just, that's just the fact. Anyone is gonna tell everybody is gonna tell you that the last place you're gonna lose body fat is in your stomach. The, your body goes to the quickest, most easy accessible parts of your body where you can get uh, fat from, which is your face, your ears, your your. Your smaller parts on your body, your feet, your hands, you know what I'm saying? And then it starts going, it goes from smaller to to larger parts of your body. Then you move to your arms, your legs, and then the last part will be your your belly. So do not expect to go into this fasting and because you fasting for 18 16, 18 hours that you're just going to walk on a puddle of body fat throughout the day or that your bed is going to, your mattress is going to be sucked on sweat and fat because you are fasting. Uh, that's just not going to work. You, you're not going to be constantly walking in a puddle of body fat like they make it seen on YouTube. That's just not true, man. And I just keep it at 100 with you. It's not true. That happens to guys that are already in shape and they got by 20% of body fat they're trying to get rid of and their metabolism is already high. So they don't have to like, their metabolism is already high. So when they fast, it just get in more intense. The metabolism gets higher. That what I really is so yeah you know they're able to burn fat a lot a lot faster but like I say if you like me man no mm -mm, it's not gonna work in that rate you are gonna lose weight like I'm losing inches the close 
Well, I'm gaining inches and I'm losing inches. You know what I mean? The, the, your clothes are going to get loose and it's going to feel more loose on you because you overall, you're getting smaller. You see what I'm saying? You get smaller in, a, in your chest and stuff like that. You're shrinking. Your upper body is shrink, shrinking, but it's shrinking at a slow, steady pace. It's not like, you know, like I say. So don't be fooled by some of these guys. And I, they're not they're not doing this on purpose. They're trying to fool you into doing something. This is the result. I believe the Hash Twins were getting results in, in that at that rate because they were in shape to begin with. And they were exercising, they were lifting weights, and metabolism was already fast to begin with. So I believe that that was happening to them. But just because it was happening to them, that doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you when you don't even go to the gym or you don't exercise. Your metabolism is like super slow. You got like a snail pace metabolism down. You got to get there through fasting. So I recommend if you want to try this fasting and you want to start fasting, I, I recommend that you stick with it for like two weeks and, uh, and you'll see, you're gonna start seeing results and you'll stick with it. This have to be a life changing event. You can't just do this because you wanna lose weight. You're gonna get discouraged because you're not gonna get the results that you think you're gonna get within three or four weeks. This this is a long process. I, I expect to hit 175 pounds by sprint, by sprint. Or next year that means April 2018 so <laughs> like I said if I get there any faster than that I I mean that's I'll be happy with that but if I don't I don't I know I, I don't really expect to get at that you know to lose that much weight um, any faster than that so it's a life-changing event where, I, like I say, and uh, and you, if you're gonna do this, you gotta do it for the same reasons, man. Anyway, congratulations to you guys, Jamo. Uh, if you're getting results in what you're doing, congrats to Delta Elite, man. I saw you on, on uh, I've been seeing you on your streams, dude. You are getting mad weight loss, man. Kudos to you, man. Congrats to you, man, and your success. Keep working at it, man. And I uh, want to see less of you, bro. Real talk, man. Thank you for watching. And I'll give you guys an update two weeks from now. Since I'm going to start doing this, uh, uh, continue to do this fasting. And now I'm going to implement some high intensity workout. So within two weeks, I give you guys another um, video and review of my, of my uh, accomplishments. Anyway, peace and see you guys later, man. Salute.